Hello everyone, welcome to Ignition. And we thought we'd introduce you to Pete, my new panda. Fred. Poor How long did Freddy. We, have him? we had him uh, one and a half years. It's been one and a half years. Thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it. Every second we've enjoyed this little car. This yeah. is going to slaughter you off road. Yeah. I'm still really not confident it's going to beat me off road sitting in it now. Feels far too much like an ordinary vehicle. Oh no, you just don't. Look! Show that! Terrain response, everyone. Hill descent control. Right, let's hear it. <laughs> what? The steering's great. Yeah? It feels quite The interior big. is really nice. If you have a look at the seats, look. It does? Let's turn it around, have a look at the interior. This isn't. This is nowhere near as grotty as I, I mean. It sounds grotty, but it's not as grotty as I thought it would be. So, in here, it's exactly like the photos. But this is nice and smooth. I was expecting this to be horrible and rough. Steering wheel's a nice material. It, no, very nice. Oh, it looks awesome. The, oh, it's awesome. I'm. I'm surprised. The initial passenger bit, when I was a passenger, wasn't super confident, and uh, now, oh, it's great. It's quite nippy. It's it's vocal. It's very vocal. The engine's loud. I feel like I'm sort of driving a well. It does sound a little bit. We at first I thought it sounded a little bit broken, but it's actually a very cool sound, and I like driving it. Steering's lovely. The throttle response is nice considering it's turboed. It does seem nice. And now I've turned the eco button off. It's a really nice drive. The gearbox is lovely. I can't fault it actually. At the moment, can't fault it. I would just quite like an armrest, so I think we might have to go to armrest oh, we'll, for that. We'll have to. Well, armrest drives and got any. Oh, well, we're going to have to find some sort of armrest for it. But that's my only... It takes speed, these massive speed humps. The suspension's fantastic. That is probably the best I mean, vehicle. We, we've got the Jeep, we've got the... Truck pickup. The truck, we've had the Fiat 500, and we've got the Volkswagen T-Cross. This has vastly got the best suspension by, for taking... Oh, by a long way, yeah. But that's what we got it for. Or it I is. got it for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's brilliant. I can't fault it other than an armrest. And I think the clutch is a bit too light. It's a bit snappy, the clutch, isn't it? It's a bit yeah. on or off. But that's just getting used to it, isn't it? I like the sound of the engine. It sounds very strange. It's weird. It's I've like never heard it before. Like, well, it's, like, it's like you're on a motorbike. It is. I've never heard an engine like this before. But I like it. So we're not sure how many owners get to look underneath their vehicle and particularly when it's virtually brand new so obviously we've ragged it home well, not ragged it you know what i mean gotta look yeah, after yeah. it a bit but we thought it'd be quite interesting for you to have a look underneath of what a, uh, a little panda looks like particularly one that's this weird of a vehicle being the 4x4 four four version there's not many vehicles like this at all no. are there so i'll no. hop behind the camera and we'll have a little look yeah. at it shall we we've got rear differential here uh, providing the back wheels it's a tiny little thing it, it is actually very interesting because obviously we've been under the Jeep and under the Mitsubishi quite a bit and everything here is just brilliantly small and um, I'm liking it but everything that we've looked at so far with the vehicle actually seems to be really good quality and I don't know the, the you know Fiat sometimes have a uh, bad reputation but everything under here looks like it's been put together with care it looks like it's been manufactured with quality items i mean the bracketry under here which we'll get a close-up of showing you how the the way that the, the the rear diff part is mounted is really quite chunky and substantial i like it the exhaust is stunning i mean i don't know why i should really like an exhaust but it's already blued 
and hazed over and it's just something you'll never see but it just looks lovely so we've got the drive shaft going through front differential here as I say if we pan back just so that we get a picture of these these are just very nice chunky bits of metal that have been manufactured really nicely so suspension we've got a little bit more travel on the 4x4 version than you get on a normal panda so going through here a bit of underbody protection and again the machined quality of some of these components and the castings all look really really nicely done under here metal skid plates my jeep came with plastic and so the the, the l200 comes with metal but they're very very weak and this in fact i'm um, bear with me here i'll have to do a bit of editing i'm going to measure that uh, eight mil thick there which is quite a beefy bit of kit for nine between eight and nine mil that is that's a fairly beefy bit of kit it doesn't go all the way through but it's been relieved in so there's some proper strength the one under the mitts bushy is an absolute toy it's it's bent a bit but i imagine because of its um it's very low at the ground this is going to take a serious pounding but it's it's been braced right the way across so that, um, i was looking to replace that but I, I don't need to that's beefier than i expected the front here so the front here um, this is plastic uh, this is obviously movable and then we've got the skid plate underneath got two hooks expecting this to need to be pulled out quite a bit and probably wrapped to this and uh, I think it'll look better but also it'll just give us a little bit of strength to protect it so hopefully that was interesting so that was our first little view underneath We've got planned, what we're going to do is we're going to do a thousand kilometres in it, then we'll change the oil yep. and then we're going to thrash the nuts off it because it course. certainly wants to be revved. It, I mean, it's desperate to be revved. It sounds so good, it deserves to be as well. Yeah, one of the things we've done, 100 and, we've 50. done 150 today around, I mean, I say it's brand new today, so we've done 150 kilometres now. Yep. We've been in and out, in and out all day. And the one thing that is very interesting about this engine, it wants to be thrashed. Yeah, it no, it does for sure. Um, it doesn't like sitting at low revs. No, no, it, it wants the revs up. It's quite an infectious little car. It is. It? Well, uh, you've seen if you haven't seen the video where we discuss what he's getting, I go back and watch that. But when he told me he was going to buy it, I thought he was joking, and I couldn't believe it. I was genuinely that's the most gutted you've ever seen me yeah, i think yeah, yeah, yeah. when he said he when we went and bought this i was absolutely gutted because you couldn't see one there no one no there. so all i sat in was the bog standard hire car one and i thought there's no way he's buying that but we've got it and i must say i'm absolutely in love build with it quality build quality i mean you've got to, you know don't get me wrong the inside is no is, bentley but it's no bentley but um for yeah, what we oh, expected oh, oh. what's the wading depth of a bentley bentayga on its air suspension isn't it uh, 500? 500 500 mil 740 yeah, in fact uh, you've got higher 740 mil this will weigh too which is there so i can wade up to the headlights the not there's any blooming water in portugal no no there's not but you've actually got a better wading depth than my mitsubishi pickup truck so round one to me yeah but i'm not sure we'll be going through any water no, uh, there no there's no water to find so it's going to be very interesting to take this off road once we've yeah, so uh, changed the oil the, the tires it's come with uh what are those continental eco, eco something or others so they're they're no good for here we we've got a lot of what i think in america they call fire ro roads so mm, there's a lot of dirt they parts. are genuine roads they've got signposts and everything but yeah. they're just big lumps of flint and it would eat these tires in 10 seconds yeah these back. are so, eco comforts yeah so as you can see as i mentioned earlier i've bought the wrong size yeah <laughs> michelin uh latitude cross so nice tires. Uh, i've got to get another set yeah um, then we'll go through the process of matriculating this set which could take a couple of months and i can't wait a couple of months no. to go off road in it um what but else are we going to do to, oh we're going to be painting this Yes, all the silver uh, trim we're going to be well, doing in black. See that and no. I can't be bothered to move the. You, you, you know what it looks like. We got the silver trim. We, I don't really like it. So no. the plan always was to do that black. We'll paint the skid plate just as it's new and we can, and we're going to wax oil it as well. Yeah, inside, inside. the chassis bits. Yeah. Again, we've put I've put my finger in, and um, it's dry Rough, as a yeah. bone in there. It's painted, but dry as a bone. So we'll wax it. It's, I've never done anything to a new no. car before, so it's all new to me. And well, we just want to make sure we protect it before it all starts. You know, because you look at the state of some of the cars that are a few years old. We want to yeah. make sure this one stays uh, relatively yeah, I mean, nice. It's going to get dragged down hedges and things. Yeah, but, but um, such is life. The components it? we want to keep relatively nice. So hopefully you'll join us on our journey to see how 
good this little devil is off road. It's going to be interesting. I think the weakest link of this vehicle is going to be the knob sitting behind the steering wheel. Most likely. Um, so let, join us with that. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Yes. Hopefully some of you who own one have enjoyed looking underneath because we're mm. very lucky we've got a lift so uh, we can do that. And it's the best car we've ever put on a lift. Yeah, it's the easiest it's to put two, on the lift. It's two big jacking points. Thing. If you go back a bit and re-look at the bit where we go underneath, there's two, you can't miss them. Yeah, just big it's blocks great. to put it on. No, it's fantastic. So we're going to thrash it home now. We are. So, so we will see you in the next video. See you. Thanks for watching.